Yes. So hello everyone. I am myself, Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I am the super specialty educator for Prep Ladder platform. So now I have a great honor of introducing or taking the interview of Dr. Shivam Arora, who has secured AML2 cardiology, that is AIMS Merit, Merit List 2 for, from cardiology. So hearty congratulations, Dr. Shivam Arora. Thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Right. So now uh, I'll take up this uh, interview mainly for guiding your co-PGs and as well as juniors how to prepare for the super specialty. Because uh, one of the very important challenging tasks is balancing the residency and as well as the super specialty preparation is one of the very, very challenging tasks for many of the residents all over the India. So now let us take up this particular interview in a way how your interview will help to your juniors and as well as the co-PGs, right? So now before starting that, please just give you give a brief introduction of yours, uh, which will tell us like where you are from and uh, in which admin you could get the seat as well. So basically, uh, sir, I am from UP and I completed my MBBS from King George's Medical University, Lucknow. Then I started my MD from Molana Azad Medical College and I am currently in third year and about, I am about to appear for my final year exam. And I cracked this exam in my first attempt only. Right. So it's very great and very good that to hear like in your first attempt, you are able to crack the exam. So that definitely requires, you know, a, a very good amount of dedication in the preparation. Now, please tell us like how you are able to balance your residency program because MAMC is a very busy hospital, right? So how you are able to manage your residency and as well as your super specialty preparation. So how could you make out your time? Yes, the the first thing is that uh, we have to follow our passion like we have to decide which branch we have passion about that that will make the difference that is that that will make you work for that branch that will make you uh, see the patients of that branch with great interest that will make you have time that will make you give extra efforts for that branch so that is the most important thing then uh, my second advice is that don't ever you should not ever feel that you are involved so you will not be able to study because if you are uh, interested in a particular branch and if you'll see the uh, patient of that branch with great interest then you'll learn a lot from that patient for example i had a lot of interest in cardiology from initial days only so i used to see ecg of each and every patient from my first year only and i've learned uh, a lot from that I have seen uh, ECG of rare and rare diseases as well. Then uh, I had interest in cardiology, so I started doing echo from my second year, and that helped me a lot. I had a small book of echocardiography, and I used to read that in my ward only, and then used to go to echo lab and do the echo of the patient. First, I started doing echo of the normal patient, then I started doing echo of the uh, pathological diseases, and it helped me a lot. And then it started generating interest which helped me to go through the textbooks also. Right, great. So like very good that uh, you have opted for cardiology. And uh, let me also just quote one example why I have taken cardiology and why I have done my ca uh, cardiology super special team. Like as you have said, like your passion is very much important. Like uh, I had a patient who, uh, who had come to me into the emergency department with bradycardia. Right, atropine there, there, one dose, okay, two dose, okay, three doses, okay, and you know, it is the bradycardia is reverting back, and again, he is going to brady. So, the cardiology is uh, we have uh, given an emergency call to the cardiology PG. So, he came within two minutes, he has placed a temporary pacemaker with eco guided. That heart rate of 22 has jumped up to 70, and he was safely shifted to the intensive care unit. And you know, that made me uh, to opt for the cardiology, the patient who was about to die. Within two minutes, like the entire life of the individual has been changed. And that made me to just go with the cardiology. Yes, definitely cardiology is very, very challenging, uh, you know, uh, the subject and as well as challenging uh, specialty where the life of the individual can be completely changed with the appropriate procedures. And uh, it is very good that you have opted for cardiology. And uh, 
for that i first i'll wish you all the best for your uh, future endeavors and uh, i advise you that many procedures are there in the cardiology it is very very good that you have started doing 2d co from the residency of your medicine itself usually many of uh, the residents they don't do but your passion and as well as interest made you to do the 2d co from the residency of the medicine itself very good and one more important challenge many of the uh, residents they do feel is right which source of material where should i start from right the super specialty if you take harrison two volumes they are voluminous books like where should i start the preparation how should i start the preparation right which sources do i need to follow so what is that sources you have followed and what is the strategy that you have followed for your preparation so basically sir my strategy was uh, always that uh, uh, follow one source only and revise it multiple times that uh, that has always been my strategy also uh, during the initial days in my first year and second year i was uh, not like i am preparing for dm or something i uh, i was preparing for uh, being a good being having a good knowledge in cardiology so i started raising balthazar in my first year uh, that made me having have good concepts about ecg then i used to see the ecg in ward of the patients then uh, in third year uh, i started thinking about clearing dm exam so i read cardiology from harrison and a whole of the Harrison I have studied in my first and second year. Then I revised cardiology from Harrison. Also, uh, I have followed only one coaching notes and revised it multiple times. And I just realized that uh, almost all of the coaching notes have the same material, but you have to revise it multiple times. And it also depends upon that uh, how much questions you are attempting after revising the notes or how much test you are giving up after revising the note. That all the, that makes difference. Right. So what Dr. Shivam says is, right, one important thing, whatever the material you are reading, revision is very, very important part of your preparation. And second important thing, what he says is like giving the exams, doing the test and discussions, solving the previous year questions. These are very, very important part of the preparation, which will make you to get a good rank in the super specialty. Right. And uh, yes. Now, if you take the entire part of your preparation, like your first year, second year, and as well as third year, like from which year you specifically targeted that I have to do super specialty. Did you follow that particular approach or you randomly just started your preparation from the first year itself? Sir, I started, uh, no, I, I focusedly started preparing my third year. Before that, I was just focusing on gaining knowledge. So I used to read and go to ward see the patient discuss with my colleagues that is uh, i guess the most important thing whenever we have a difficult case or difficult ecg or difficult eco we used to sit down and discuss the things discuss the ecg that uh, really helps me a lot in grasping things in learning things more because uh, the medicine is so vast that we cannot read everything by uh, ourselves so we used to discuss with ourselves something someone will teach us something we teach them that that's the that will make the things grasp easily right so uh, one important tip what uh, dr shivam says is about the uh, discussion of the ecgs see in the entire career of the medicine the ecg interpretation is very very important right one mistake you do in your ecg interpretation it is costing the life of the patient right uh, see one important example what i tell you is like mainly when you are uh, dealing with st elevation mi and as well as benign early repolarization many of the times you know that benign early repolarization and st elevation mi these two are very confusing areas whether it is STEMI or is it like benign early repolarization now if suppose a STEMI patient if it is misdiagnosed as benign early repolarization and you send the patient that will be costing the life of the patient so as Dr. Shivam says like seeing all the ECGs interpretation of the ECGs is very very important in the entire career mainly if you are opting for the cardiology right yes. okay. And the next important thing is like, okay, so if you take this uh, competitive society like what we have right now, uh, what is that you advise to your co-PGs and as well as your juniors? Do you want them or uh, to stop their uh, career at the level of MDMS? Or is it like mandatory that they have to do super specialty as well? Or is it like completely dependent on the individual thing? What is your advice to your juniors? Basically, I guess it is more or less individualized because it also depends upon which city you want to settle in the future. Like uh, I want to settle in Metro City only. So it it is not compulsory, but it will help me a lot in doing MDM. 
but if you want to settle in second tier cities then uh, md is well and good and it will be more fruitful than your dm especially in branches like rheumatology and uh, hematology md is more than enough if you uh, don't do d if you will do dm then you will limit yourself to a specific number of patients only yes yes right good and uh, one last quick question is so in your entire preparation for the super specialty so can you quickly tell us like how did prep ladder super specialty help you in your preparation and how it uh, had made you as a successful uh, super specialty aspirant is it so uh, during uh, my initial days of my third year i started watching prep ladder videos i watched some of the videos were too good and the concepts were so well built actually e eco was not taught separately but it was uh, included in different topics and that what helped us help me to grasp the topics and eco because eco is too vast that you cannot read whole of the eco in your md but definitely the diseases you are seeing the diseases you will study you have to study for your exam if you know the eco of that uh, disease and if you go into the eco lab you will see the eco of that patient then definitely you will ne never forget that thing so it helped me a lot then I, I used to practice mcqs from prep ladder and they were up to the mark like the question we have in my in our exam then i gave some grand tests in prep ladder that helped me a lot too. great so one last quick question what is one quick advice and important advice that you will be giving to your co-pgs and as well as juniors who are like willing to give the super specialty exam and crack the exam what is the quick and important advice that you will be giving to them so uh, the basic basically i want to uh, advise that don't try to uh, read and read only and skip the word go to the word see the patient learn from the patient and then read that will make things better and that will make you remember things for a long time right so that is very very important thing what dr shivam says so don't be completely bookish don't keep your head only in the books right attend the wards properly attempt the patient uh, treatment properly and from there you learn a lot that is what dr shivam says right it's a very very important great piece of advice to your juniors and as well as co-pgs as well right and uh, i wish you all the very best for your cardiology Thanks. cardiology is very very interesting uh, subject you know it's very very challenging and uh, once you go ahead with the procedures there are many many new procedures which have come up which are saving the lives of the patient literally right the you know the mortality has been grossly reduced because of the interventions and the procedures which have come up with cardiology so i wish you all the best for your future endeavors and i wish that you will be a best cardiologist in the entire world thank you very much nice to